Hi, everyone. I hope that you're doing well. I hope that you're safe, and I hope that um, you were able to get your uh, cause and effect vinyl drafts in. Um, one thing I want to note about this is that if you didn't do an outline and the uh, works cited page, or you waited till the last minute to do it, you didn't help yourself any. So you need to uh, make sure that you follow the schedule on this final assignment. This research paper uh, argument is going to be worth a huge, significant portion of your grade. So you want to make sure you do well on it. All right. So with that in mind, uh, we will in introduce, uh, now it says persuasive essay. I prefer to call it argument, but it's a persuasive essay. There is a chapter on that in our textbook. It's just about nine pages long. Uh, we do have that quiz, you know, to make sure you read the stuff. So, you know, take that quiz, uh, look at the PowerPoint slideshow, uh, read that chapter, and then um, also there's the intellectual free lunch. The whole uh, premise behind the intellectual free lunch is that people have a tendency sometimes to get angry about things when they don't even have the information right. So, um, you know, they took a poll of people. They said, what makes you mad? They said foreign aid. They said, well, how much of our budget should be foreign aid? They said X, per, X percent. They said, well, what do you think it is now? They say X percent, and they had everything wrong. Uh, they were actually mad about something that really, uh, they then, their solution would have been worse than, the, you know, their uh, cure would have been worse than the, a disease, if you will. So persuasive essay this week. The only thing you're responsible for, aside from that quiz, you know, make sure you do the reading and that quiz, is going to be the outline and a works cited page in MLA format. And I will you know, upload the outline uh, instructions and I will upload a sample works cited page in addition to the instructions for the argument. But really that outline is all you have to do this week. So uh, make sure you get that in because I can't help you if I don't have an outline and I don't get a chance to look at your research and see if it's good quality research or not. And on that note, um, if you have any questions, again, feel free to email me and I'll be glad to answer them as soon as I can.